Well, the protesters have just headed down from an ultra-Orthodox Jewish neighborhood here in Jerusalem to this intersection. They're shouting the word Sabbath in Yiddish. This is all about their belief that Eurovision is a desecration of the Jewish Holy Day. The Jewish people in Israel have been forced to work on the Saturday, normally the national day of rest. And as they head down here, the police have been trying to move them from this intersection, forcing them down this street here. There's a major shopping street Well, the protesters have now been driven to this intersection here. Uh, there are hotels here, this is a bit of a tourist area. But there's now been something of a standoff of the, as the protesters were driven back to the end of this street. And uh, the police were pursuing this man here for a, quite some time and now seems to be trying to detain him. They're still shouting that word, Sabbath, in Yiddish. And the mounted police here have been trying to drive them back. Uh, further down the street here is a, a main shopping street, lots of cafes and there are some uh, young women making a protest just wearing their uh, bras. They wanted to make a point about religious conservatism and the scale and the size of this shows you what an issue this is in Israel. The religious leaders and political leaders of these communities are part of and have been part of the right-wing coalition government. A new government is due to be formed and some of those leaders have said that this is an issue. They've delayed some coalition talks with the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He's been forced to say that Israel will maintain uh, the status quo of its national religious day. For these protesters though, it's not enough. They're really unhappy that Eurovision is happening on this day at all.